Hello, everyone, and welcome to Real Quick, episode 107. This week, we have our Real Quick review of the week, as recommended by our patron, Dean Kotamanidis, and that will be The Town, directed by Ben Affleck. This is, I'm saying this off the top of my head, his second directed film of all time after Gone it's Baby Gone, Gone. Baby Gone. and it yep. looks like I was right now that I'm fact-checking that. This is the second movie he directed, um, a, a heist thriller, Boston movie um, with Jeremy Renner, with... Blake Lively and with John Hamm. John Hamm as a cop is just like such a logical casting. He's just like so I, he just looks so natural in that role. Like, I yeah, like love just, it. I yeah. love him in this role. He's just so natural in the role that he's in in this. Um, just like the kind of like crazed cop type of role detective. But uh, yeah, we'll get into a review of the town. This is a, a second watch for me. Well, actually, I think it's a third because I think my first watch on Letterbox is like when I was logging it, but I'd seen it when it first came out. I remember like the trailer. I just remember it always being the. Like every time in the trailer when it was on TV, it would be like the car going by with like the little yeah. face looking out. And I always thought when this movie was coming out, that it was going to be like scary or something. Cause it always creeped me out. Like I just <laughs> see like the slow mo, like nun mask driving by. I'm like, shit, it's kind of like spooky, honestly. Like, if I saw that shit in real life, I'd be tripping. Yeah, yeah um, big time. And, and obviously Cam would be too. Cause you know, nuns are his number one <laughs> nemesis. His weakness. Yeah, his weakness. Um, But yeah, let, let's get into our review. So the, the synopsis of the town, if you don't know, is. um. Welcome to the bank robbery capital of America. So the premise is Charlestown, Massachusetts is kind of the bank robbery capital of America in terms of where the most robberies and thieveries happen. Um, Doug McRae is a longtime thief who, smarter than the rest of the crew, is looking for his chance to exit the game. When a bank job leads to the group kidnapping an attractive bank manager, branch manager, he takes on the role of monitoring her. But their burgeoning relationship threatens to unveil the identities of Doug and his crew to the FBI agent who is on their case, as we kind of foreshadowed earlier that fbi agent is uh john ham um is yeah so basically yeah ben affleck they start the movie by uh robbing that bank and rebecca hall is the name of the actress who's like kind of like a bank manager there that they end up kidnapping to kind of use as their hostage to get out of the situation um and from there obviously ben affleck kind of gets an eye for her um, blake lively is also just kind of like this like I don't know if it's like derogatory to say like trashy, but I mean, I feel like they clearly tried to make her that. Like that trashy. is, yeah, that is yeah. correct. <laughs> Who's kind of like, I wouldn't even say Ben Affleck's girl. It's kind of like everyone's girl in the group. <laughs> seem like, um, But she's trying to escape the life as well. They're all, it's just basically a bunch of Bostonians that have been, uh, have lived a rough life that are trying to have mm -hmm. their big take to get, you know, just to get out of here, get out of Boston, get out of Charlestown and kind of have their own life. So I want to get over to you. Bostonians is that a thing? Yeah, yeah, oh, really? Bostonians is a thing. Uh, New Yorker, it's like every it's similar to states and countries. Like everyone has a different way of pluralizing it, but Bostonian, I think, is the correct mm -hmm. way to say it. Yeah. Um, Seth, this was your first watch ever, correct? Yes, it was. So I'll kick I it mean, off to you then for your initial thoughts. Yeah. So I've only seen how many films he directed. Directed. So he directed Air, didn't he? This year he has Air, I'm, Argo, I'm Gone Baby Gone, Gone, The Town, and then Live by Night. So five. Okay. I've only seen two. I've only seen uh, this is my second. I've seen Argo and this one. Uh interesting, interesting film. Um kind of what I expected, by the by. Um fun, charismatic cast. Um, very Bostonian, as Tar likes to refer to it. <laughs> like if the heat if heat and the departed like had a baby, this would have come out. <laughs> mm -hmm. uh, but no, I enjoyed it. It was it's very much like follows the similar trajectory as like an old fashioned heist film where you can kind of guess the narrative. But also, I will say there is there are two cuts of this film. What uh, what did you watch the theatrical? Or you watched the extended. How long is the one you watched? Probably just the theatrical. Yeah, is what the I watched. Yeah. yeah, was the it only one I could rent right? was two and a half hours. So I ended up oh, interesting. Yeah, I wonder what the what the additional thirty minutes was. Well, yeah. So this is what yeah this is what I'm going to. Go to. So I think it kind of follows the traditional heist formula. Um, it's it does you know hit every cliche in the book and could be argued to be over sentimental at times, especially with the quick quick um, like surgence of Rebecca Hall and Ben Affleck's kind of well, relationship. Uh, I really like Rebecca Hall. I think she's brilliant, really really great. I really like her a lot. Um, fast paced, adrenaline fueled. There are some certain sequences of this I love. I think some of the, the shots in this were really really nice, and it's just full of stereotypical heist set pieces similar to like the likes of heat um, you know not quite as good in my opinion but still really really enthralling really great and there are certain points that i i, I really really liked actually i think ben affleck clearly is competent as a director I, I i have the same feelings actually towards this as i did argo 
where I think it was too over sentimental a point. I think it was a bit long winded. But again, I watched the extended version, so maybe it's you know this maybe the extra half an hour might have been different. So there's several films where I do feel like um, the longer versions stretch out a little bit, perhaps too much, but who knows? But like Argo, fast paced, you know, some certain sequences that really had you know my anxiety going, it, you know, it was, it was old fashioned, like chase sequences, violent sequences. It's actually a lot more violent than I expected with this film, and a lot cooler, you know, like the, the, the opening, for example, like similar to like the Dark Knight, uh, if I kind mm-hmm. of know, like Robin, whatever, which I thought was really, really good. Um, I like Ben Affleck a lot, I like Jeremy Renner a lot. I like, um, uh, what's the guy's name again? The guy you just spoke about, the FBI, guy. John Ham. John Ham. Um, I like him, like Rick Hall. I like the cast, you know, charismatic, good. Um, but I don't think it has anything more to it for me. Um, I thought the use of relationships was cool, but I did think some of it was a bit rushed. And it was weird. Sometimes it felt rushed, sometimes it felt long winded. Uh, some of the sequences are like, uh, we can move that on a bit here. But again, that might be to, to do with the fact that I watched the extended version. But overall, I, I definitely had a good time there. I, I said to the guys before we recorded, I did have a bit of weird. Um, Watch today because I had to keep pause. I was, I've been really busy work while, so I had to keep pause and then I watched it again like every like half an hour or something because that kind of put me up a little bit. But I gave it, um, I gave it 3.5, so still a, a pretty high score to be fair. I enjoyed it for the most part. There were just a few scenes that I didn't love. I think it's just a, a good, you know, action heist drama that, that hits the narrative beats you expected to, but it does so in a uh, successful way. I just think it was a little bit too drawn out, maybe an over sentimental at points for me, but but still a, um, a good film and like literally i just feel exactly the same as i did with argo just like liked it did love it but had some really really cool sequences that i think showcased ben affleck as a director and it's the same year oh no argo is 2010 wait argo was 2012 this is 2010 okay, okay, okay. Mm-hmm. when was gone baby gone then 2007 oh shit so this is air was his first film wait what was live oh live by night i don't even know what that yeah is. that one was ass All right. <laughs> yeah 3.5 for me i liked it did love it good film George, how about you? Yeah, still, um, it's, I was going to say my score, but I'll hold off on that. But if you've seen my letterbox, you know my score already. But I haven't revisited the town in a while. <clears throat> um, it's one of my best friend's favorite movies, so I was very curious to to revisit it and just see where you know my thoughts stack up versus where I previously had it ranked on let, uh, rated on letterbox. Still a four and a half out of five for me. I think this movie has all of the right and necessary ingredients to just make such an effective heist movie it's got those like seth said very adrenaline fueled um action sequences they're very brutal they're very heartbreaking at times um especially you know we'll go into spoilers maybe the the back half of the movie um it's got that central romance that's going to obviously cause a little conflict within the group and and within our main characters like trajectory um it's got you know the the fantastic acting from john ham on the fbi side which i think in a heist film or or any film you know even like wolf of wall street um it's just so necessary to have that you know opposite to our to our protagonist that just really makes this feel like an urgent experience um i think just like again like seth said um i think ben affleck is just at his best here in terms of as a director i don't think this is actually no i do think this is his best movie um and i do think this is also his best display of direction i think his his competence behind the camera is just so visible and so clear especially during these action uh, set pieces they're just so fucking high octane fast paced they're fucking anxiety inducing and i think that's just a massive credit to what ben affleck's able to do behind the camera um like seth said again i'm kind of just echoing everything he does except i just kind of like it a bit more than seth but i think everyone was well cast i truly i know everyone says that you know the hurt locker is jeremy renner's best performance but i'd I'd make an argument for the town i think he's so fantastic in this movie um i think he just serves uh ben affleck's character as like his best friend just brilliantly and i love that relationship between the two of them uh like i said john ham love that he can pull off like this nerdy fbi agent yet needs to be badass when he needs to be i i just i just love that he's got that in him he's got those acting chops that i love because obviously a lot of people know him to be like this slick suave don draper guy 
Um, but I think just as this FBI agent opposite of Ben Affleck's character, I think the two of them just oppose each other so well. Um, so my score remains at a four and a half out of five. Like I said, I just think this movie has everything needed to make a effective um, heist movie. And then again, sure, we'll get into spoilers, but the ending, love it. I love the way this film wraps up. Um, so four and a half out of five for me. I texted you guys today um, asking about, you know, a couple of movies, whether or not they're heist films or not, because I was looking at my ranking of heist films. One, I have not realized how many fantastic heist films we have. I love the town so much. And right now it falls at number 13 on my list. That's just how great, I guess, of a, a very specific subgenre of film this is. Um, but yeah, four and a half out of five. In my opinion, Ben Affleck's best movie, but I have not seen Argo in quite some time. Um, love this thing. Love this thing. Yes. Really happy I was able to revisit this one. Boston isn't far from New York, is it? Like, no, it's like a three and a half hour, four hour drive, maybe. Have you or been? Have I you... been? Yeah, yeah, yeah. My sister how, went to Boston College. How good. I lived there for four months for summer. Uh, you've lived everywhere, Tyler. <laughs> yeah, dead ass. <laughs> how, uh, it's been everywhere. <laughs> how, bro? How... Um... How good is the accent? Because I saw a few complaints like about the accent. Is it actually that bad? Or all of them, I guess. Is are the accents in the movie that like do you yeah. think are they bad? Are they good? Are they bad? I mean, I think they're a little like exaggerated, but yeah, I think for the most part they they I mean, nailed... they're exaggerating the departed. Like, like... Yeah, I, I think every movie that centers around Boston is going to exaggerate yeah. that accent just as much as they can. But no, I think for the most part they kind of nailed like the nuances of being able to speak Bostonian, I guess. It's definitely one of the thickest accents in America. Like yeah. Other than like Southern, like Boston, like you recognize immediately. Like it's definitely the thicker accent. sound like that. Like it's as strong as it's portrayed. Obviously not as strong. Oh yeah, as definitely. Especially like older people, I feel like. I feel like everywhere older people have like the thickest accents. Like I feel like in New York, like an old New Yorker has like a thick New York accent. Yeah. yeah but no, right. definitely when Boston, Bostonians definitely have strong Boston accents. But yeah, it's probably a little exaggerated in this. But yeah, no, I, I'm big fan of the town uh it's actually my third ranked ben affleck movie but i think all his movies that he's directed are great except live by night i think that one's just like ass but the rest of them are really good uh is that like a crime as well yeah know. i've never even seen that what live by night is like a gangster movie with yeah it's like a, it, it's the closest movie to the town i guess i don't know the town gone baby gone and live by night are all kind of just like that gangster gritty type of movie but live by night just was a mess for me i just didn't like it much at all um gone baby gone was his first one i do like it a lot but i do think it did feel like a first film and then argo movie. argo and air are my favorite of his in terms of direction um, look at the top I, I, well then i think cam well cam is well, not here obviously he he gave town a 4.5 yeah i'll go five actually i think he's like really yeah happy. Mm -hmm. he really likes argo um, but yeah, what Seth said was like exactly what I think. Cause I mean, a lot of people obviously compare every heist movie to heat, but I think this is proper like heat and the departed yeah, mixed, sucks. especially sucks. because like the final like act with, or not the final act, like the final end of the movie when, you know, after the heist happens and the, the movie's kind of coming to a conclusion when Ben Affleck has to go. Yeah. I guess it's spoilers. I'll throw that on here. <laughs> when, when Ben Affleck goes back to like the guys who kind of were, we're like hiring him and being a part of this and just goes and shoots him. It felt very much like the end of the departed, you know, when, uh, you know, kind of feel like they're getting away. They feel good. They feel good about themselves. They feel like they're all, all going to live and survive, but then just kind of bang, it's all over for you. Yes. Um, Jeremy Renner was great in this though. I do think it's one of my favorite Jeremy Renner performances for sure. It's interesting. Like on the IMDb page, it says Ben Affleck really wanted a uh, Mark Wahlberg to play the role that Jeremy Renner had, but he was busy with the fighter. So I'm happy. Really that was that makes, that stuff. makes a lot of sense. <laughs> yeah mark Wahlberg. I'm, I'm i'm happy he was not in this role uh i i don't know i i don't love mark Wahlberg. he was fine in the departed but i feel like he struck lightning once there and we don't have to see if mark Wahlberg. yeah hey hey he more than once. only member of the departed cast to be nominated for an oscar <laughs> so silly <laughs> for that movie but yeah it's like any movie with a boston script like ted or anything yeah. like, boston, oh, it's shit, like ted. Mark Wahlberg. Let's, let's get him let's get him in here what's um, what's jerry Brody's like comparison to with Best performances with uh, Wind River, maybe. What you Wind River, yeah. I feel like I feel like the Hurt Locker, like the Hurt Wind Lockers. River are like a top of the list, but Arrival? I don't know. 
I think it's a great performance, but that's more yeah. of like that's like a less flashy performance than something like a Hurt Locker or a, um, or The Town. Like I love his performance in Arrival. I think it's a very subtle, soft spoken, emotional performance. But it's like it's not a. I don't want to say it's not a memorable performance, but again, it's just not a flashy performance the way something like The Town is. Have you guys seen the? He played like Jeffrey Dahmer in like a biographer film. Like, I haven't uh, seen that, but I did see he played uh, him way back in the day. I did yeah, not know that. Side note: I wonder how Jeremy Renner doing these days. Is that dude walking. Is he... He's great. Yeah. He's got it. Doesn't he have like a TV show? Right well, now? Like, that was filmed before his accident. Like, oh, it was, was it? Yeah, yeah, like that documentary thing about like his like whatever side. Oh, that. Well, I thought you meant like the renovations TV show. Which yeah, yeah, yeah. That, that that is what I'm talking about. Oh, is it, maybe that was after. I don't know, but I don't know if he's like. Is he? Like, no, he's he he was on like Jimmy good. Fallon with a cane. Okay, he's good then. He's good. I, right. I, I guess. Glad, glad to hear, because that was like a crazy story. That yeah, was wild when that came out. <laughs> but no, he's great in this. I, I hope all of you are the same way Jeremy Renner is for Ben Affleck in this with all of us, where it's just like, I got a problem with this guy. Can't tell you why, but you got to come beat the shit. I mean, he's like, <laughs> right, let's do it. And then not only does he help beat him up, he takes it to like the yeah, next the next level. He's like, I don't even know what you did to my boy, but the fact that you got him all riled up like this, I never seen him this bad. <laughs> just straight up homie. Um, that's that's glazing the homies to another level. <laughs> yeah, yeah. In that moment, Ben Affleck wanted to be like, "Yo, dude, this is like just about a girl. This wasn't. He didn't like actually <laughs> rob me or anything. Like, I just kind of got a little out of hand. I probably should have just told you at the beginning that uh, you don't need to be shooting anyone in the line." <laughs> oh, um, yeah. So, big fan of the town. I, I had it at four the first time I watched it. Still keeping it at four. Had a great time with it. I do think the relationships were a little rushed and underdeveloped um especially with the, the bank manager you know i feel like that was kind of like it just added in to be like a vessel to the plot in terms of like falling in love and wanting to escape with her and kind of escape the life i feel like they just kind of ha- threw in the relationship aspect to be like the reason he wants to quit robbing and go live life on his own and be away from the danger and stuff when it's like i feel like narratively you could have just done that as him just like i don't know i feel like it's an easy way to show someone maturing and wanting to move Literally, on yeah. from life yeah. of violence whereas um, yeah, I don't, I don't know if it was necessary, but still, uh, Rebecca Hall still did well for her role. Um, John Hamm really liked his char- charismatic character in this. Um, yeah, I don't really know if I have a ton more else to say about the town. I, it's just like a fun movie, and I do think Ben Affleck is a a really. I, I think he's genuinely one of the most talented people in Hollywood working today because obviously he's an actor, director, screenplay writer for like Goodwill Hunting and many other screenplays. Like he kind of just like the whole the whole package in terms of everything he's able to do in Hollywood. And of course now he owns the production company that air was the first movie oh, yeah. from. So mm-hmm. he's, he's like a quad threat at this point. And that of course now he's, in, you could call him a five, five time threat. If you include all the funny memes that come out every time he's in public. <laughs> sure. Looks like yeah. he wants to die when he's smoking a cigarette. <laughs> oh, I've used, I've used them. Uh, so, yeah. They're just so them. perfect. Like, and I love like the videos of him, like, opening the door for like jennifer lopez and just like the most like just like tired and like annoyed <laughs> way it's, like, shut <laughs> isn't he like a really like just nice human as well this guy's got the whole package uh, yeah i've seen a ton of like with like the the current wars going on i've seen a ton of clips surface of him on like talk shows basically just doing like the opposite of like a ben shapiro like you know ben shapiro's like that annoying like owning students thing but he'll go on like talk shows where people are like talking politics and he'll just kind of like call them out for their bullshit and he's a pretty well-spoken man and also Shad. like there's also plenty of like interviews where he just it's interesting because he's so involved in hollywood he's a screenplay writer he's an actor he's a director he owns a company but like yeah. he just like is not a hollywood guy he's just like not yeah he's like he's a dude just wants to make movies and he does not want to be a celebrity at all <laughs> Um, but yeah, yeah, I don't know. Anyone else have anything else to say about the town? But uh, we did mention Cam's review as a 4.5. I'll see if he like wrote it. Yeah, it's, like his... it's like a switch on film. You know, I had a good time with that. I don't think there's much going on in the service, but I think if you like mm-hmm. fast paced, integral action, uh, heist film, this is kind of going to be for you. I do think it's very, like you Tyler said, like a lot of heist films are compared to Heat, which is probably one of the most famous ones ever. But there are some like direct comparisons, even with the shots, some of the sequences, um, the, the, the love interest. But I think it does well. I think visually it's really, really appealing as well. Um, and I think most people would probably have a, a good time with it, you know, most of the time. Like, I don't, it's not one of those films I can imagine people like hating. Do you know what I mean? Right. It's just one of those films like, you'll either think it's, yeah, fine, whatever, or like really, really good. Like, you know, like, um, like George Tyler. I don't know. But I, I had a good time with it. I think it was, I think it was good. Just nothing um, too crazy for me. I will watch his uh, Gone Baby Gone. I think is his, um, 
maybe highest rated on Letterboxd. Like in terms yeah, it's his debut, but I think most people say it's his best also. Okay, so I do want to watch that one, actually, because I, I am keen to watch that. I, I do want to watch Air, actually, to be fair, because I still haven't watched that this year. I still haven't seen Air? It. No. Air's just wild because it's so different yeah. from everything else he's made before. So it's just like such an interesting change of pace. It looks like the most that. interesting. I don't know why. I'm not looking at a massive basketball guy. It just looks more interesting than other stuff, mm-hmm. maybe. But yeah, I do need to watch. I mean, it. I w- will say, Air has nothing to do with like basketball, really. It's the complete. Well, I, it's entirely yeah. about like the business of Nike, which I, I yeah, yeah, I think I, I think I like that. I don't know. I just and I love Matt Damon. Oh shit, he was a Banner was a part writer for the Last Jewel, Ridley Scott's Last Jewel. Did anyone know that? I had no yeah. idea. Dude, I I'm so funny you mentioned that. I'm straight up going to watch that movie tonight because. Have you seen it? I've not seen it, and it's come up. Yeah, it's come up a few times over the last few days. I so me and Anna watched it. I think she liked it a bit more than me. It's very much female empowerment, but done right. Do you know yeah. what I mean? Like, yeah, yeah. What is it? Duel, uh, duel, oh, duel. Uh, <laughs> last heard duel. I heard, I heard jewel too, but I knew it what he was true. talking. Yeah. <laughs> um, I'd be keen to see what you think of that. I can get like a three point five. It was good. Um, bit like. There are certain sequences that I don't feel the need. George, you'll know exactly what I mean when you see it. I won't spoil it, but okay. it's good. A bit, bit long winded, but it's good. Okay. So I didn't realize it was him and Matt Damon that were the writers on it. So it's like, I wonder if yeah, that was their first joint writing thing. So it's, doesn't it's Ben Affleck like, have like frosted you. tips in this, in yeah, this movie? It's, it's so, <laughs> I need you to watch it, right? The only thing I couldn't take seriously in that film, I just think it's such a weird cast. Like Adam Driver, Ben Affleck, and Matt Damon in like wigs. <laughs> Matt Damon with like a blonde beard and like frosted tips. It's like Matt, Matt hard- Damon is what I feel like. Matt Damon is Ben Affleck's real life Jeremy Renner in the town. Probably, yeah. That is how I feel about their relationship. <laughs> yeah, I'm keen to hear what your thoughts are. I'm really keen. But much, seen- much more reserved. Ben Affleck will go to Matt Damon like, I got this script. Don't ask me a question. I just need you to star in it. And it's Matt Damon's good. like, when do we start? <laughs> uh, yeah, but definitely. Tyler, have you seen that film? No, I have not. Last- what do you say? Duel. Duel. Duel, yeah. Do you say Dune or June? Dune. Dune. I mixed back and forth. I never know what to say. But before like- before we wrap up on the town, I just want to lock in on one more thing. I I frequently, like, I'm not a big fan of like endings where it's like the main character is like reading a letter while another character is doing something. But I think the town for some reason just like executes that whole thing brilliantly. It for some reason like it hit me emotionally. It's even today when I watched the movie, it hit me emotionally. I was like, damn, this is like really good writing because it feels like while in like this note that Ben Affleck is reading, he's one like Finally, as a character, like Tyler said, like he's escaped, he's gone, he's out of the limelight, he's out of this life of crime. Um, but he also kind of like left a window of opportunity open with um, Rebecca Hall's character. Yeah. And I think the whole sequence just like plays out really well because it ends on this like somewhat hopeful note, but also this like slightly heartbreaking note because you're coming down from the high of, again, spoilers like Jeremy Renner's character dying and all of that stuff. Um, so I don't know. I think I usually don't like those like ending voiceover note type films, but for some reason I think the town it works well for it. No, I think it makes sense. I get that definitely. Yeah, one thing is so you know the final heist scene takes place at Fenway Park, which is for anyone listening not in America, it's where the Boston Red Sox play baseball. But beyond that, it's also like one of the most iconic, maybe the most iconic baseball stadium like in America in general, one of the most iconic stadiums in America. So it's not just like another stadium. It's like a very iconic one. The premiere for this movie was at Fenway Park and the red carpet was like the first baseline. Like that's pretty freaking sick. Wow. That's, like, that's actually like, dope. Yeah, the premiere like in the baseball oh, Did you not get the invite to that? Crazy. <laughs> How old would George have been? You would have been. So in 20, like 2009 was when that's this cute. premiered. Well, well, would have been 12. 12. Oh, wait, well, I'm saying like, because usually I feel like something premieres like a couple yeah. months before. Like, it actually I, I thought it was 2012. That. No, that was all August 2012. Yeah. Damn, yeah. that's actually sick. That's like if Challengers, the new Luca Guadagnino movie, premieres at like the US Open. US Open. Wimbledon. Wait, is that actually <laughs> happening? You're saying like that's like... No, no, no I'm movie. saying like yeah, that would it would be cool if like they did that again, like yeah, 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 for yeah, another yeah, movie. Yeah, yeah no, that uh. would be sweet. Um, but yeah, I, I don't, I'm not seeing any other fun facts worth mentioning. <laughs> But yeah, that does it for the town. A, a fun movie, like Seth said. I think, kind of going off what Seth said, I guess uh, if you if you're a connoisseur of 
of uh, heist films, and I think you'll like this movie. But if you just kind of like heist films or like action movies, I think you have a chance to love it. I feel like the more into them the, you are, the more you've seen, the more like if you're a big fan of like Heat, then you might watch it and be like, oh, I liked it. I was a little underwhelmed, but definitely like a dad movie type or like a movie that people yeah. like if you only watch blockbusters like if you throw this on you'll definitely like have a really good time with it i'd be surprised if anyone who watches this gives it below a 2.5 that would that would shock me for sure so um good movie for the week we all recommend it um cam we miss you but you give it a 4.5 out of 5 and we know it's uh you definitely really like the town and he also sh- ships argo as well so um with that we will see you what is this yeah it can be we'll see you on monday for real talk episode 61 peace out